Hi, someone had asked about making a scallop square in one of the um, puzzle groups in the Facebook and I thought well maybe somebody would be interested in making a circle so I'm making this video on how to make a scallop circle. So basically what I have here is a small circle and a large circle. And I had done this already so I'm just hitting my forward and I decided to try making it with um, let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten circles and what I found is I had one too many but I'm going to go ahead with this just so you can see what happens. Um, and this is what happens when you do that and I'll show you how to do it and then I had one extra one which I deleted and that way you can see that it, it does work so let's get started again okay so I have these two circles and what I'm going to do is right click on the small one and for some reason it didn't stay clicked okay there we go I hit multiply and I'm going to go across and I have nine. I already know nine was too many so I'm going to try eight this time and see if it makes a difference. I still have negative point one and I'm going to hit the right arrow and click OK. Now I'm going to group all of these together. I'm going to go to shape and fit object to path. And this is what happens. Well doesn't look like much but you get the objects to path um, box that comes up and what I want is to click on the center because I want them to be centered on that circle and as you can see that would work quite well so I'm going to click off and I'm going to group all of these together actually what I want to do is click on the center one I'm going to eliminate that all together group all these together hit the weld button and once again just like the square you can see that they're all one piece now but I don't want that center section now you might want, want, want it like that for a frame I don't for my purposes so if you're in the pro software you would click on this button that says break group but if you have the regular software you're going to go up to shape and you're going to either hit great break group or break all it doesn't matter in this case I'm just going to hit break group and I'm going to click on the center one which that's not working that way so I'll just group it in and I'm going to hit my delete key and there you go you have your scalloped circle so with the circle one I find you have to experiment a little bit in order to get the circles to fit on the circle and I found that if you use even inches for some reason that works better at least for me um, and because this is a perfect circle if it's not the right size all you have to do is go hit the height button and like this is 6.193 maybe I want it to be 6 inches so I'm just going to highlight the 19.3 and delete it and I'm going to hit apply and for some reason it duplicated it shouldn't have done that and I don't understand that yeah there's two of them there but anyway here I must have hit duplicate by accident but here is your 6 inch circle now it should be yeah well now now it's showing the width huh let me put it on condensed and do it apparently it's slightly off a little bit and I'll hit apply so now you know it's six inches so there you go I hope that this has been helpful